Okay, so in order to do this, you'll need to purchase the Kiara Sky French Tip Set. It comes with all the powders you're going to need, and it also comes with Bond Base, Seal Protectant Top, Nourishing Oil. You'll need to get some glue and tips. I like to use these natural looking ones because they are see-through and just look super gorgeous. Um, a brush, some nail polish remover, some cotton swabs, and some tools and a bunch of filing boards. So first we're gonna file our nails, make them nice and clean, take any nail polish off. Um, one of the things that I hate about going to the salon is how damaging it is to my actual natural nail where with this um, process it really saves your nail. So go ahead, push your cuticles back. I like to take any and all oils off nice and gently and then get your tips. I like to pre-measure all my tips first. Start at the middle of your nail while dragging the tip up to see where it fits. The key to giving it that natural and really beautiful real look is find a tip that is just a hair smaller than your actual nail. Um, if it's bigger, it'll look bulky and you wanna have that really beautiful feminine look. So just go a hair smaller than you would. So if you're a size six, go down to a seven. Just give yourself a little extra um, room to play with there. Now that you have all of your nails laid out, get your glue. I like this glue, I got it on Amazon. It's gonna be in the link down below. Um, it just works really well and it doesn't break my nails. Um, these are the natural tips. Anyway, so we are going to go ahead and start. I like to use, start with my um, dominant hand, so I'm right-handed. Um, I'm gonna start with my pinky. Go ahead and make sure that it fits. Put glue on the very base of the nail. You'll see a little pocket for it. Um, go ahead and apply the glue there. Glide it halfway up your finger until it's in the perfect position. Hold for maybe three seconds, sometimes five. You'll start to wiggle it. You'll see whether or not it's ready. And um, go ahead and repeat for all your nails. Now we're gonna go ahead and clip the nails to our desired length. This is pretty quick and you clip your nails on both sides, twist in the middle and it pops right off. So we're gonna be doing a ton of filing today. That's pretty much 50% of the work when you do these nails is just filing and keeping everything super smooth. So where the nail meets, your nail meets the tip right in the middle, I like to file that and get it as smooth as possible. Um, what you'll find is um, on the traditional kit, you do dipping maybe four or five times. I only dip twice. I like to keep my nails very thin. So I find that if I do a sh if I do some filing on the nail ahead of time, it won't have a big lump there later. So now that we're done filing, we're gonna start the dipping process. Um, our nails should be super smooth, ready to receive that wonderful powder. And um, if you need to continue filing just to get it there on your sides and um, around where your cuticle is, we'll all be a part of that dipping process. So make sure everything is super clean and super smooth. We're gonna be starting with this Kiara Sky Base and Bond. Both are um, gonna be used pretty much throughout the day as well as our natural dipping powder. Um, I love the natural dipping powder. So um, that's the only one we're gonna use other than clear today.
The first thing we're going to be doing is applying bond. This goes on your natural nail only and it creates um, a wonderful foundation for the acrylic or the um, dipping powder to go on. So now we're going to apply our first dip. We are going to put base where the nail meets the, um, your, uh, the tip that you have. And I basically paint a line that connects the two of those. Um, try not to get the base on your nails and quickly dip it into the powder at a 45 degree angle, nice and smooth. Once it comes out, tap off the excess, but don't touch the top of your nail. Once that's done, file your nails until smooth. Um, at the salon, they won't do this, but I find, again, that it just makes for a much smoother nail when you're trying to keep it this thin. So now we're going to be using our natural dipping powder again. and. You'll see when you get the kit that they suggest that you do maybe three dips of um, a quarter of your nail and then the whole nail. I only do one. Make sure you apply the base on your whole nail really well because um, if you don't, you'll have gaps and that will require you to have to dip again, which only makes the nail thicker and thicker and thicker. So apply the base to 100% of your nail and the tip. Um, nice slow strokes so that you make sure um, you're getting the entire nail and once you do that add the nail to the powder at a 45 degree angle nice and slow pull it out tap off the excess and continue with all your other nails <music> Once you're finished, dust off any extra powder and start filing. Um, get your nails as thin and even and smooth as possible. So now we're going to get the clear um, dipping powder. It's uh, not part of this kit, so you will need to buy it separately. Um, dust off any kind of leftover stuff from filing. This is the uh, clear dip powder, and we'll be using the um, same number two base that we use when we put the other stuff on. There is something I will say, I don't love the clear uh, dipping powder. I like when it looks matte and natural, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to do it. Um, I just definitely don't like the clear look. It's a little too polished and buttoned up for me. I like it to be a little edgy with the matte. Um, but go ahead and apply base to your whole nail and slowly dip your nail into the powder at a 45 degree angle. Tap off any excess powder and let it dry. Once we're done with that, um, I usually will file again just because I like to, but we're going to be applying the seal protectant, which basically bonds the, um, the base and the dipping powder together. Apply it evenly and liberally to all your nails and let dry. Go ahead and clean your nails off. I actually like to go wash my hands at this point and try to get as much as the filing little things off my nails. Use a static free um, little cotton square to get anything off your nails and we're gonna apply the Seal Protect uh, for the last time. Again, add to your nail liberally 
and let dry. So now we're going to be applying the very last part, which is step four, which is the top coat. Um, this is going to go on your nails the first time looking a little crazy and then the second time super smooth. I also don't love this part, but um, for the sake of this video, I'm going to do it for you guys. Uh, again, it just makes the nail look super shiny. Um, so if you're going for that look, definitely use this part. Once you let that dry, apply a second top coat and let that dry for at least two minutes. Thank you so much for watching my video. I have so much fun making these nails and I hope you have just as much fun, if not more. We'll